Today we're talking shot placement, and I'm gonna walk you through a hunt from last year where I hit a buck and didn't get him, and I'm gonna use it so that you don't make the same mistake. Well, it was the middle of the rut, and I had a small buck cross through at the beginning of the hunt, and then I had two button bucks come in early. And the next thing you know, this big buck comes walking right towards me. He came in and was about 20 yards away from me, just feeding on acorns forever. I was sitting there, I was getting the camera ready, I was feeling really good. And then I needed him to take one more step and I was gonna be able to stop him and get, a, get the shot off. And he ended up speeding up and going right through that lane, which made me have to let down, change the camera, and get him stopped again. When I stopped him, watch what happens. I thought it was a good hit, all the way up until I got down and looked at the sign. And when I saw the arrow, it was a lot of muscle, a lot of fleshy material, not a lot of blood. Looking closer, let's see what happened. If you look at the highlight, aiming center mass at this deer, which I was doing, doesn't leave you any room for error when the deer drops. And 99% of the deer that you shoot at with a bow and arrow, unless they're at point blank range, are going to drop in some form or fashion. So although I was aimed center mass, by the time the arrow got to him, it had hit him right in the back strap. So what you should always be doing is aiming for the heart of the deer, which is the lower third of the body. Let's take a look at what that looks like in the same scenario. In this case, we're gonna take the mid body aim point and drop it down to the lower third. And now let's see what happens when he drops. You can see that even after he drops, your arrow hits center mass. So if he doesn't drop, you hit him in the heart. If he does drop, you double lung him. So there's no reason to aim center mass. You should always be aiming for that lower third of the deer. I could sit here and show you countless reels of deer doing this exact same thing. Here are just a couple. So at the end of the day, I was highly disappointed it was a real bummer any time that you hit a deer and you don't find it. We did later get a picture of him on a trail camera so we know that he's still alive. And I hope you could learn something from this video and the next time you're out, you aim low and it leads to success. Hope you like this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell to be notified of new videos and watch some more of our videos by clicking right here. Thanks for watching.